Stevenson and Catholic finishing a 3-3 tie here tonight at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark with head coach Graham Miller. Coach, how do you measure the the effort and being happy what you saw from your team battling back from down 2-0 versus the disappointment of being man up and not being able to finish things off? Yeah, I think it's a strange game. You know, you can look at it from uh, all sorts of angles. I think being down 2 nothing in the first probably 15 minutes, right? It was uh, it was a, a shock to the system, especially because we had had some chances. So to finish 3-3 after being 2-0 down against a very good Catholic team, um, you know, positives. But then obviously when you delve into the game, we go up 3-2, then a man down, and then they, uh, and it tends to be sometimes uh, going down to 10 men is a, is a good thing for the other team because it gives them that spark and you saw how hard they worked and they deserved, they deserved to get a result for how hard they worked that last 20 minutes once they went down to 10 men. What is the difference right now for this team? You've had good results and you've played well for stretches. What's the difference in taking that next step and learning to win matches? It's uh, it's 90 minutes. You, you know, we can like we just said about that game. First 15 20 we could have been down, you know, we, we could have lost that game just in that first 15, 20 minutes. So the fact that we came back, we put it together. And then the last 10, 15 minutes when, you know, Catholic pressured us when we could have saw the game at 3-2, down to 10 men, kept possession. So we're putting together a long stretches of good performances. We did the same the other night against Hopkins on the road where we played for 73 minutes, no problem. And then, you know, we lose two goals in three minutes. So I think it's a, it's a 90 minute performance. It's better 1v1 defending, which we just talked to the guys about. And then it's game management. It's, uh, you know, not getting off to slow starts. It's, uh, you know, not letting teams get a lead on you. And then from there, you know, manage the game and, and see it out when you do get the lead. How about that strike from Zuida? My God, man, that was something. Well, we know he can do that. He had a great season last year. You know, we're hoping for a little bit more from him this year. And that was one of those things. He stepped up tonight and, uh, you know, a great finish to keep us in the game. And then the other thing that jumped out at me, Murath, um, the early slide, you know, right out of the gate, the big runs down the field. Man, that's a, a young player that seems like he is really stepping up nicely. Yeah, we've been really excited. The freshman really did well. I got to, you know, Ryan just uh, runs, runs, runs. I mean, we even put him in the midfield at the start of the second half. That kid works. And, and that's the big thing that we're trying to get with this team is, you know, we lost 15 seniors last year. We are, we're trying to get that team togetherness back and they're getting there day by day. I mean, the results, you know, if you look at the results, it doesn't show it, but the, the, the four ties we've had have all been against excellent teams. And Ryan, even Tyler Woods is a freshman and a little bit center back tonight. BP's just been crushing it. Connor Muller, most yellow cards probably in the nation right now but he's a tough freshman and then you know Eddie stepping up with a couple of nice goals it's that free kick was a beauty and then having to do the PK is never easy either so it was uh, a real team effort tonight All right, coach uh, a quality result we will see you back on Wednesday yeah we love the ties right so see you on Wednesday it's Graham Miller I'm Glenn Clark go mustangsports.com